Hello friends, hi friends, welcome to another video. Today we are going to be playing Stardust Lingers. Oh my god, this is adorable. Uh, so this is a game made by one of my friends for the, 20, the 2020 game off. It is not complete, but I wanted to play it because it looks so... I mean, look at the bunny. It looks so cute, so let's do it. I know nothing about this game. This is a complete by Brian reaction. I'm just super like excited i don't know should i be excited for this i have no idea who knows it might be a horror game uh they were going to start telling me about the game and i was like no sh 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 don't i want to i want to be surprised also i just realized i didn't turn off my ac hold up that music is so pretty well let's start i'm maria it was dark by the time i had arrived to the cabin oh this is so pretty this is the cabin I had almost expected the lights to be on, extending its shine towards me with a comforting warmth. Oh! This time, only shadows surrounded the windows. In a way, it was too comforting. Not crying. We just started. We just started. I'm not crying. Don't even know what this game is about yet. It's meant that this place has been left perfectly undisturbed. I think it's supposed to be I mean. Whoops. I can't read. Whoopsies. Reaching into my bag, I pull out a brass key. I'd kept the copy safe through all these years. Couldn't even bring myself to get rid of it. The reminder of regret was now only fueled by a sense of strange satisfaction as I opened up the door after a few hurtling jiggles. Whoa, I love the art! Jeez, what a mess. He had always been a hoarder, so this was to be expected. The main question was whether he buried, whether he buried what I looked for or not. I moved some of. I moved some of the items strewn across the couch on a part. Fuck! I forgot. I can't read. I should have really figured out what kind of game this was before I decided my dyslexic ass was gonna try to weed. I moved some of the items drawn strewn across the couch onto a particular par par particulous, particulous pile on the table and sat down with a huff. It's going to take forever to sort through all this, isn't it? I briefly considered starting right away, but after the effort it took to get here, it would be best to rest. Can we just duck? <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, art? Lovely. Whoa. Anyways, I'd rather not have my back screaming at me if I happened to pass out on the floor. Comforted by the fact that I had plenty of time to search, I stepped carefully over to the clutter and made my way to the bed. No! Huh? It's actually quite decent. The living room was the victim when it came to being treated like a landfill, landfill it seems. Twisting a lock of hair, I glanced around. I couldn't help but feel watch. Yeah! This cat! <laughs> it, was as, it was as though a little serpent had twisted itself tightly around my intestines, hissing a tune of unease. This... Did I see something here? No, I didn't. This room. This home. It's the cat. It's the cat. Familiar in the best and worst ways. It's the cat. Hazed I, tend hazed, I tentatively lift up the covers and peeked underneath. Nothing. Oh, thank God. This turns out to be a horror game. A deep breath. Good night to me. This turns out to be a horror game. I'm going to have a problem. Hello? Hey. Trevis. Oh, I just heard it come with me. Where are you right now? Just heading back from work. It's nice and chilly out. I don't... I... I... I see K. Chilly is seriously not cool for me. But it's cool. Well, yes. But I don't know how do you deal with it. Anyways... 
Look who I met at work today. Oh, uh, you shouldn't hold it like that. That's poor cat. It was just for the photo. I thought that's how cat moms, how cat's moms held their babies. Yes, but no. Only as kittens. Not comfortable for adult cats, especially since they're a lot heavier. Even looks, even if it looks cute, it's known to cause fear and stress. So you should avoid doing that. Sheesh. It's not that big of a deal, lol. It is, it's a cat. I guess I'll keep it in my mind though. You better, it's a cat. So how's the new place? Um, it's a little lonely, to say the least. It's not really beautiful. There's trash everywhere. Lonely, huh? Could, I could change that. I suppose you could. However, okay, whoa. However, it's a refreshing kind of loneliness. It feels nice to have a bit of privacy for once. Girl, just me out here with all the little critters that roam around free. You don't need privacy from me. The city may be full of people, but it's also pretty lonely with you gone. Have you thought about it yet? Us living together? Um, I don't think we should yet. I, I don't. I don't think we should. I, I don't. I, I got a whole house to sort out today. You don't think? Why don't you think, Maria? Maria? I've given you plenty of time to do so. It's about time you give me a clear answer. That's what I think. Look, it's not that I don't want us to, but I'm not sure about being so soon. I only got here a few days ago. I still need time to settle down. The whole thing is still new to me, too. I thought you were serious about this. I am. Sorry. We shouldn't worry so much. It's probably fine. Not probably. It will be. I... Trevis, is that your name? I don't trust you. I'm not trying to sound pushy, or anything, you know that, right? Um, can we scroll back into your DMs? You're sounding very pushy, dude. You are sounding very pushy. I just care about you a lot. So I want this to work out. And it won't if you keep avoiding this. I'm not avoiding anything. I'm not. Maria's not avoiding anything. Maybe you can come visit first. Before deciding, we see how it goes from there. Okay. The guy's a jerk. Oh, the cat's still there. Oh, the music. So nice. My thoughts rose to awareness. The disorienting fog surrounding them slowly, clearing with the warm light that casted itself over me. I kept my eyes closed as I stretched, realizing with a soft smile that I had ended up sleeping sideways. Letting out a yawn with a roll of the shoulders, I felt for the door as I stumbled my way to the bathroom, nearly tripping over some unknown object in the way there, but part of me rather s suffer a fall than open my eyes without washing my face first. <laughs> That's not me. I full on wake up crusty eye and I'm like, ah, good enough. To the bathrooms. Let's see what we have here. I was about to head to the kitchen to see if anything edible was left when there was an odd sound. It was barely audible, but I had just managed to make it out. Scritches? Scrit? Scritches? Um. Yeah, me too. Um. I tried to decipher the source of the sound and find that it's coming from my door. I peek out the window to see, but no one seems to be there. Oh, this is definitely horror. This is definitely horror. Scrit? Scrit? Scritches? Feeling a bit unsettled, I nibble at my lip and open the door. Just a crack. The scratching stops. My gaze is met with nothing but the rustling flora and the gentle flutters of a nearby butterfly until I look down to see it peeking back at me. Oh my! It's a bunny! Oh, oh my, who are you, little one? The bunny sitting before me had raised its paw, tilting its head curiously. I crouched down, making sure not to make any sudden movement as I reached out my hand in front of its face. There was a gentle ticklish feeling as it sniffed my hand, stepping closer to do so. Ah, it's a bunny! Yubi, yubi, yubi! 
Oh my god. Say Saida or Sigari would love this game. Sigigari would love this game because it's a bunny. Aw, you're so precious, wanna come in? It's a bit of a mess, but I appreciate your company. Okay, Maria, now you're just talking to strangers. <gasps> there was a Oh, there was a series of motions. I don't if I didn't know any better, I would have thought it had nodded at me in response. Oh, look at your eyes. <laughs> Regardless, I took the bunny's relaxed attitude as a confirmation and opened the door fully to let it in. It hurried in immediately, ears flapping along with his hops. Ah! No, this is too cute. Closing the door, I followed with a soft laugh. Is it going to be like, where's Waldo with the bunny now? Welcome home, bunny. Make sure to watch your step. It wiggled its nose and stood up on its hind legs, surveilling the landscape of scattered belongings. I left it to its exploration and made my way towards the fridge. Bunny, bunny, bunny. <laughs> Ugh. I scrunched my face in disgust. There was no way that milk wasn't expired. No duh, Maria, you didn't bring groceries into this log cabin. The rotting lettuce heads... By it weren't doing so well either. I considered them giving them to the bunny, but that would be cruel to a welcome guest. To welcome a guest with possible food poisoning. Dumping it all right into the trash with a thump, I returned my attention to the other items inside. There was a few apples which looked salvageable, but not much else. What happened to canned foods? Oh wait, you don't keep those in the fridge, do you? Here it is. Checking through the cupboards, I was met with a can of saltine crackers and a range of cereals. Besides that, a decent amount of jars and canned foods. Ha ha! Canned foods. Number one way to go. I prepared a plate of crackers, s slashing layers of jam across them, each marking, mark signaling one fate as a sacrifice to my hunger. Slicing up a double of apples along t alongside them, I sighed relief at the fact that no horrid worms were revealing in the process. <laughs> ew! Just apple worms, ew. Gross. Where's the bunny? Bun Bun, where'd you go? <gasps> I brushed against the leg! He's bunny! <laughs> there you are, come on, let's go sit. I put the plate on the couch and held out my arms towards the bunny, who seemed understanding and hopped closer to be picked up. Lifting the soft bundle of cuteness, I, s Ugh. I sat us down, beginning to pick away at my plate as I petted it with my spare hand. Too cute. Too cute. Its head ducked underneath my arm and leaned towards the plate. Aw, you're hungry too? Oh, give him a cracker. Give or them. Give the bunny a cracker. Please. It's too cute. It's stop. The world has to stop. This is too cute. It's so cute. <laughs> it's too cute. Look at the face. I want this. I just want this. Every this is all I want in life. I presented to it a slice of apple. Eagerly, it munched away at it, brushing its mouth against me. Eventually. It transitioned to licking my palm. I let out a soft gas. I've been letting out gas this whole time, Maria. It's okay. Feeling my heart swell with affection, I wonder why it's so trusting. Actually, these bunnies don't usually live in the wild, do they? I don't know. Uh, Sigigari, you're very good with bunny facts. Do bunnies typically do this? Thanks. Perhaps it's been abandoned. Oh, the thought of dropping such a sweet... A sweetie alone in the woods was baffling. Who could do such a thing? But here it was, having appeared before my doorstep, it was looking for a new home, and it certainly succeeded. I vowed to make this place suitable for the both of us. Before that, there was still unfinished matter to deal with, a matter that I knew would gaw at my mind restlessly, removing any feeling of comfort to allow this place like a dream. What? Removing any feeling of comfort that would allow this place to feel like a dream a long I'd long been chasing. I watched in a trance 
smiling as I made way to the second slice. He's a bunny eating an apple. He's a baby. Or she. Or they. They. Once it had its fill of licks and tried to nose its way back into remaining on my plate, I lifted the food out of rage with a giggle. I think that's enough. No. Bunnies need to eat more than two apple slices. Duck. As sweet as you are, you should you should be careful about having too much sugar. They're apples. <laughs> oh, oh. It hopped, seeming quite annoyed at the rejection and promptly jumped off my lap. Look at the bunny's face. The bunny's like, I'm not having this. You're not giving me apples? Uh, no. <laughs> Immediately feeling guilt, I was tempted to offer more, but sternly reminded myself that it was for its own good. The bunny dude. Ha, huh, if only they held the same amount of care towards my own diet. I watched it wander off inside. It was time to begin the search. Oh, God. Oh, okay. A little bit. First, a little bit of cleaning up, grabbing all the obvious trash, and depositing it into the bins outside. Having done so, I sat on the floor and sifted through a few boxes. Old receipts of pants, I can't read that word, gifts and planned invitations. Books containing abandoned words once frequently visited. I traced a finger over inky gems clustered in pale laced gloves, lips barely gazing their surface. The learning, learning man captured so elegantly over the dusted cover. An entry in the very series that connected paths which tangled which tangled up and tensed at the slightest drift at a mere suggestion of separation. Fay as they were, threads that connected still lingered. I put the book aside. An abrupt sneeze caused me to turn towards the table where the bunny was laying underneath, faced away from me. Besides, it was a stack of documents and above... I shifted onto my knees and crouched down, lowering my head. Lowering my head to see the corner of a paper curled down from underneath, from the underside of the table. Could it be? I braced myself. One, I braced myself on one hand and used it, and used the other to clutch at the corner, peeling it off carefully. Make sure not to bump my head as I retreat and gasp at the note with trembling hands. Your doubts, yourself, your present. Circle I? The first of three, if the message was to be trusted. But what could it mean? Perplexed, I gravitated towards my notebook and tried to scribble out a few ideas. Surely the second note was not directed at myself so there had to be some location or objects these words were connected to at the same time i felt as they as though they could apply to anything i groaned why would he be so vague the tall tale snap of leads only served my heightened for irritation great maybe i should go for a walk take the bunny Getting up with a stretch, I headed towards the door, grabbing onto the handle, looking back at the bunny who had rolled over to stare. Do you want to come along? Bunny say yes. Bunny do it. Rising, it bounced over to me. I shakily smiled. All right, let's go. This bunny is my new favorite. Outdoor. This is the outdoors. Well, I actually think before we go any further, I'm going to end off this video here. Thank you all so much for watching this game. If you guys want to play it, I will leave a link in the description. Stardust Lingers. I really like this game. It is really cute. It's making my heart feel things I didn't want it to feel. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. Everyone who worked on this game, all their stuff will be in the description. The website where you can play will be in the description everything please go support this this is amazing this is so cute i'm not crying don't judge okay thank you all so much for watching and i'll see y'all next time goodbye